Tectonic Shift Shaping the Future with Innovation Hi there and welcome to Tectonic Shift. Today we have an exciting video lined up for you. We will be diving into the world of Azure Pipelines and exploring how to create tasks and task groups. But first, let's understand what a task is. In Azure Pipelines, a task serves as the building block for automation within a pipeline. It's essentially a package script or procedure expertly abstracted with a set of inputs. And now let's talk about task groups. Imagine encapsulating a sequence of tasks already defined in a build pipeline or a release pipeline. That's what a task group does. It's like having a supercharged tool that you can easily add to any build or release pipeline just like any other task. Isn't that awesome? With task groups, you can streamline your pipeline creation and make it more efficient. So in this video, we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of creating both tasks and task group. By the end, you will have the knowledge and tools you need to boost your productivity and take your pipeline to the next level. Let's not waste any more time. Let the exploration begin. Watch the full video to learn how to master task and task group creation in Azure Pipelines. This is the classic pipeline view in Azure DevOps. Since the pipeline is new, no tasks are there. Let's begin by adding a task to our pipeline. Simply click on the plus icon available at agent job one. Once clicked, a new blade would get open. Now find the PowerShell task in the search bar. You can choose any other task that you need like Python or any other available option. Once you have found the PowerShell task, go ahead and click on add to include it in your pipeline. Great. Now let's customize this task a bit by adding a sample code snippet. To make it more informative, let's give this task a display name. On the type, you have the option to either select script path or inline. For this particular task, I'll choose inline. Now, in the script section, I will add a sample code script to create a folder in the C directory. With this simple addition, our task is now ready to perform the specified action when the pipeline runs. Now, I will add another task for PowerShell. Again, select the plus button and type PowerShell in the search bar. Once you have found the PowerShell task, go ahead and click on add to include it in your pipeline. Again, I will add a display name to it and add an inline script to this task. What this script will do is it will copy a file to the newly created folder which was created in the previous task. This pipeline now contains two tasks. One will create a folder and the other one will copy files to that folder. Now select save and queue and from the drop down, click save. Make sure the path is okay and hit save button. It will save the changes of your pipeline. Now imagine you have multiple tasks that you would like to run across numerous pipelines. This is where task groups come to the rescue. They allow you to merge any number of tasks into a single reusable task, simplifying your pipeline management. Let me demonstrate how you can create a task group. First, select the tasks that you want to include. You can choose as many tasks as you need. Simply right click on the tasks and from the right click menu, click on create task group. A pop-up window will appear. Here you can provide a name for the task group and if you wish, add a description to make it more informative. From the categories drop down, select the appropriate requirement. For example, I will choose build and once you are ready, click on create. You will see a link confirming that the task group has been created. When you click on it, you will be taken to the task groups page. And there you have it. Both of your earlier tasks are now present in the task group. With the task groups, managing multiple tasks in pipelines has never been easier. Now that we have our task group ready, let's see how we can add it to the pipeline. In the pipeline view, click on the plus button again and in the search bar, type the name of task group that you created earlier. It will instantly show you in the task group. In the search results, simply select it and click on add. 
Voila, the task group is now added to your pipeline. With the task group successfully integrated, you can now remove the earlier created individual tasks and replace them with the single streamlined task group. This simplifies your pipeline structure and making it more efficient and easier to manage. Stay tuned for more Azure DevOps insights and practical demonstration. If you found this information useful, remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content.